There are no gays in Malaysia. Hi guys! So I'm going to start today's video by looking at some of the things our local political leaders have said about the LGBT community in Malaysia. Here goes statement number satu. What they are really fighting for is freedom for animals because freedom of man is limited by religion and customs. Guess who said this? Penang Mufti Wan Salim Wan Muhammad Noor when talking about LGBT freedom. And then our tourism minister said, I don't think we have anything like that in our country. When asked about the German media on whether or not we will accept gay tourists, according to this person we've elected, there are no gays in Malaysia. <laughs> DIL, today I learned, wow, Ooh, mind blown, Ooh, yo, to think that he is our tourism minister. Mm. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Mujahid Yusuf Rawa, who's in charge of religious affairs, said, I have consistently repeated in the parliament that we do not support the promotion of LGBT culture in Malaysia. Alright, and last but not least, our 93-year-old Prime Minister, Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, said, At this moment, we do not accept LGBT. But if they, referring to the West lah, want to accept, it is their business. Don't force it on us. <sighs> Eh, penat lah guys, stress. Anak nak mute sekejap. 12 seconds later. Hei, pening kepala. Sampai rambut pun tercabut. Hei, come on, come on, come on. Okay, first of all, no one is walking around handing out flyers saying, please come, come, join our community. LGBT, very nice. It doesn't work like that. One cannot promote LGBT agenda. It is not an agenda. It is people's sexual orientation and gender identity. The most frequent question being asked to me was always, Nisha, when did you become a transgender person? You know what? We don't become one. We are born as one, and that's the fact. It's not like uh, they book up the TV, watch RuPaul's Drag Race or Queer Eye or hear a song, you know, or listen to someone talk, and then they're like, oh, I want to be gay or a trans person. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> And dearest Prime Minister, you said us, don't force it on us. Who is this us? You and a few other people sitting in the parliament with the same religious and cultural views. What about the rest of us living in this country, huh? who want the LGBTQIA community to be treated equally and protected from any form of violence or prejudice? Nowhere under our constitution does it say that you can treat one part of the society in a demeaning and uh, inhuman way. I hate it when politicians use words like us so lightly while only taking into consideration opinions of others who agree with them. How can we call Malaysia a democratic nation if we are going to treat it like an autocratic or more accurately with the current situation, a theocratic one? Demokrasi tu korang nak bincang bila time election je ke? Lepas tu hari merdeka baru tiba-tiba teringat. What about the rest of the year? Uh -huh. And when Brunei recently introduced stoning by death for gay sex, our leaders didn't say much. Eh, mana pergi interest in equality, human rights semua? Kena telan by biawa, ha? Eh? Hilang ke our rainforest, is it? I understand. This may be a tricky situation for a lot of our Malaysian leaders who are Malay Muslims and this may be in line with their views. But I need them to remember that they are leading a secular country, not an Islamic one. Our government recently withdrew from the signing of the Rome Statute of International Criminal Court, ICC. It is an international treaty which prosecutes perpetrators of very serious crimes like genocides, war crimes and crimes against humanity. After announcing that, Mahade spoke in length about how some people in Malaysia may have misled Malaysians into thinking that ICC may affect Malay privileges and also prohibit us from having laws that are discriminating. He said, Umpamanya kalau di Eropah, mereka percaya bahawa LGBT is okay but with us, it is not okay. But if we drag all these people and shoot them or put them in jail, then of course, it is excessive. Is he saying 
saying that we can do everything but kill them so discriminating against them all the small small things all okay la just make sure you all don't kill them later we get in trouble that's not different from discriminating someone based on their skin color or race things they don't have control over disagree fight me last year a trans woman was brutally assaulted by a group of people with sticks and plastic pipes they hit and stepped on her repeatedly she was so terrified and in pain that she couldn't even scream for help she ended up with broken ribs a ruptured spleen and severe head injuries thank god she survived the attack and then two women who were caught having sex in a car in tranganu were caned in public whoa what is happening with our country when did we become such an extreme society that resorts to such ugly methods and violence even our prime minister mahade who does not accept lgbt said that the caning of the two women does not reflect the justice or compassion of islam ya kemine berpendapat bahawa ini tidak mencerminkan keadilan dan timbang rasa oleh agama islam I know this is a very sensitive topic and a lot of people have very strong opinions against the LGBTQ community. But hello, if you disagree means express your opinions politely lah. But that said, you have no right to discriminate against them, name call them, say they'll go to hell lah, abuse them and all lah. And uh, if your disagreements are based on your religion's teachings, then you also need to be aware that no religion teaches people to be horrible human beings that treat other people like a rat. I'm sure God wouldn't approve of that. Murga Allah Jesus Buddha, don't believe in discrimination, okay? And uh, if your and uh, if your and uh, if your disagreements are based on your religious based on your religion's teachings, right? 